as an artist, you don't always sell everything that you make, or at least I don't, unfortunately. Uh, so every once in a while, I'll take a painting out of storage or wherever, and uh, I'll do a little more work on it. This painting is an example. I didn't really like it when I finished it, but I really didn't know what to add to it. Still don't. We'll see what happens. on display and I'm able to get it back to add to it. This piece I was never really happy with from the beginning. It was uh, it was like a placeholder. I, I was displaying a few pieces together and I needed one more. And I whipped up this Bob Dylan piece and I mean it, it looked cool on the wall but I was never like hell yeah I painted that. So getting it back and be able being able to make it into something that I can be proud of. That, that's pretty cool, actually. I'm glad it didn't sell. Kind of lucky. It doesn't happen very often where I get a rework of piece after I've already had it on display.
don't usually have a plan in mind. I kind of just start painting and the color palette kind of develops as I, as I go along. So I think when I first finished this painting, I didn't realize it wasn't done yet because I was just trying to match a theme with uh, a few other paintings that were being displayed together. So I'm, I'm pretty happy that I was able to spend a few more hours on this piece because I think it has a, a bigger impact. I think if they were hung side by side, the old and how it is now, it would be very obvious that this piece had a, had a lot more uh, put into it, a lot more soul. Is that lame? I don't know. Um, and I hope that when it's displayed again, that it'll, it'll, it'll show that whatever it is. I don't, I don't speak artist. <laughs> I like it a lot better now. So when I had painted this, I don't know, years ago anyway, I had hidden something in the painting. I actually put the lyrics of Knocking on Heaven's Door in the background here. Sharpie bleeds through acrylic paint, so it shows up, but it's pretty subtle where it shows up um, only if light is behind it, really. Uh, that was kind of something that I thought would be kind of neat in the original painting and uh, I'm glad it still bleeds through here. You can see the lyrics and how I had done it is I had scribbled out some of the words. I wrote it basically how I remembered the song and then I corrected it as if maybe Bob Dylan at the time of him writing it, I don't know what his writing process is, but I had put um, uh, the lyrics down how I did it how I thought it was how I remembered it and then Corrected it after as if maybe that's how he wrote it down and he's like, oh, I like it like this. Oh We'll take that out. We'll write this instead blah 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 I didn't put any lyrics that don't exist in it, but I repeated some lines maybe more times than he did I, I don't I don't know how he did it, but I thought that was kind of cool like an Easter egg. It's cool that you can still kind of see it. <laughs> 